Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to qualify for the Zora airdrop. Now, Zora is an Ethereum layer two network that is heavily focused on NFTs, creating NFTs and buying and selling NFTs, but they have some serious funding. They're valued at over $600 million and some of the backers are really legit people like Coinbase Ventures. There's also been major speculation that Zora is gonna drop a token at some point, and so this video is gonna walk you through step-by-step -step exactly what you need to do to qualify. So for starters, before you can move forward and follow along with this little tutorial, you're going to need to have, obviously, an Ethereum wallet. You're going to need to have the Zora network enabled and you're going to need to bridge some ETH tokens to Zora. So this link right here, Chainlist, will allow you to add the Zora network to your wallet if you don't already have it. And then once you've added the network to your wallet, you need to bridge some ETH to it. Now the Zora network actually does have their own native bridge. However, the issue with this is that you can only bridge from Ethereum mainnet. You can't bridge from other layer twos, so this is gonna be a lot more expensive. Now it is possible that using the official Zora network bridge could be an airdrop qualifier or multiplier. So if you want to hit every single possible thing on the list here, then I recommend just using it one time with a larger amount if you can. Otherwise, if you want to save money on bridging, then I recommend using something like OWL2 Network because you can bridge from a different layer two with really cheap transaction fees. So if you bridge to Zora from Base or Optimism, for example, that's gonna cost you maybe a dollar instead of $10 or $20. And also OWL2 and Orbiter Finance and a couple of other bridges don't have a token yet, so it's kind of a two for one in that sense. Anyways, once you have added the Zora network to your wallet and you've bridged some ETH to it, you're ready to go. And there's really two main things that you're gonna to want to do to qualify for this airdrop. The first is to go to the Zora page and to mint or purchase NFTs from creators. So they have a home page here where you can scroll through. If you see some artwork that you like, there's a mint button on all of these and you can hit on that mint button and then it will tell you what the fee is. And a lot of them are really, really cheap. Now, if you go to the explore page or the trending page, there's other ways to check out NFT collections. So you can see mints that are ending soon. There's featured mints. You can see which ones are being minted the most by going to the trending section. And some of them will let you mint multiple NFTs at the same time in one transaction. Now the standard Zora mint fee is 0.000777 ETH, which works out to be about $2 and something once you add the gas fees. Yeah, so each transaction is probably gonna cost about $2.50. So you're not gonna go crazy on the platform here and mint 10 at once, unless obviously you really love it. Just do a couple of these and then you can tick that box saying that you minted some NFTs on Zora. And some of these actually mint on other networks. So this one is on Optimism, for example, and this one is on Base. But if you're trying to maximize your Zora airdrop, I recommend minting a bunch on the actual Zora network itself. So let's say I wanna get this Leinster Zorb. I would just hit mint select the number that I want, and then click mint, and then confirm a transaction in my wallet. So let's just go ahead and mint one of these. And the mint was a success, so if I go here and click on my profile, I can see my new Leinster Zorb, which I have right here. Now, aside from minting some NFTs from Zora, the other main thing that you can do is actually create your own collection with just a few clicks. So that's pretty cool. And if other people mint your NFTs, then you can actually earn a very, very small amount from that. But if lots of people mint them, then you could actually make a little bit of money on this. The way that you do that is in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see there's a button that says create. So Go ahead and hit that. And this is a very simple NFT creator where all you have to do is upload a picture, name the collection, choose a price. Usually people choose zero and then hit create. And you should mint one of your own as well. So I'm gonna add this picture here, which I created in Canva, a picture of an airdrop snowball. I named the collection, the airdrop snowball. You can add a description, which is optional, and add a thumbnail as well, and then hit save. So the collection name is airdrop snowball. I guess the name of this actual artwork I'm gonna call Epic Snowball. The price I'm gonna leave as zero, and you can actually set a price if you want to. However, if you click this button that says rewards, you'll see that of that 0.00777 ETH mint fee, a portion of that is going to go to you, the creator of it. And the creator reward portion of that is a little less than half. And this button here, if you select it, then you will mint the first version of this collection. So just 
tick that, you might as well do it. There's a couple of other advanced options. For example, if you want the payouts from this to go to a different wallet, you can set that up and you can actually schedule the mint to start in the future. And you can choose whether you want it to be an unlimited open edition or a one of one or a fixed supply. So I'm just gonna leave this as starting now, unlimited edition and open size. And you can even add attributes if you want to, but then we're getting a little bit more complex. So I'm just going to leave this as is, simple airdrop snowball NFT collection on Zora. Then you hit create and you have to confirm a transaction in your wallet. So this also costs just under $3. So pretty cheap to deploy an NFT collection. So now my NFT collection is live on Zora. Only one has been minted by me. And if I click view mint page, then I can track how many people are minting this. I can mint more myself if I want to. And yeah, I'll throw a link to this down below. So if you want to mint this NFT as your one mint transaction on Zora, then you'll be supporting the channel at the same time for exactly the same cost. And those are the two basic things that you need to do to qualify for this airdrop. Obviously, the more things that you mint or the more collections that you create, especially if you create collections that actually get minted by other people, then that could help you get a larger airdrop. And you can also buy and sell Zora NFTs on other platforms like Mint Fun. You can create NFT collections on the Mint Fun platform using the Zora network as well but I think it's probably better just to use the actual Zora application itself. However, if you want to try to diversify, then I'll throw a link to this down below so that you can check out another platform. And the last, last thing, I really don't know if this would be an airdrop qualifier. It's possible it could be a multiplier, but there's these NFTs called Zorbs by Zora. It was released in 2022 to commemorate the one year anniversary of the protocol. They're kind of expensive. The floor price on these ones is somewhere around $40. So if you wanna buy one of these commemorative NFTs, that's a very speculative play. I don't necessarily recommend it. I don't have one of them and I, I don't know, maybe I'll pick one up, maybe not. But uh, if you do have one of these, there's 56,000 of them. It is possible that that could be an airdrop multiplier, but very, very uncertain. So I don't wanna recommend 100% that you buy this NFT and then have it just be completely pointless. Anyways, those are the basic steps. Hopefully you found this little tutorial helpful and all the links to all this useful stuff will be down below in the description of this video. See you later.